Hello and welcome to another taping of Music with Purpose. I'm Tom, and our guest tonight is Glenn Roth. Take it away, Glenn. What are you going to play? Uh, this first song is called Another Dimension.
welcome back. Music with Purpose continues with the interview portion. Glenn Roth, welcome. How are you, Tom? I'm great. I'm stoked, actually. Uh, we, we got to see you uh, open up for Carl Verheyen last week yes. uh, as a little bit of research, we, nice. we called it. It was amazing to see um, uh, an acoustic fingerstyle artist open up, own the stage, and hold the stage, and even catch uh, the band in reverie as you closed with uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, that was a special night. You I chewed did. a big piece, and everyone was watching, uh, watching you, and to the end, you, you had us all. Yeah, I appreciate that. It was a real special night. Um, Carl and his band were super nice to me, and just a real honor to get to open for him and meet him. And uh, he really is truly one of the world's greatest guitarists, so I was uh, inspired by the night. One of the ten best I've read recently, yeah, if, yeah. if there's if there's any kind of a, he's the a list. Of, he's on his on Guitar Player magazine this month, the, the cover, so. Yeah, it was good timing. Good spot, yeah. you, you've also played in the subway, yes. uh, New York City subways. Yes. Now, everyone is allowed to play there, basically, but you have some kind of a grant. Yeah, yeah, I have a, a lifetime permit with uh, the MTA's Music Under New York program. They have an audition every year. They uh, let in about 25 people every year. I was fortunate enough to get the opportunity to audition in 2004. I got in and it's been a huge part of my life ever since. You're a lifetime, it's like a rent control, having a rent control apartment yeah. in Manhattan, yeah. be able to play in the subway yes. for life. For life, yeah, as long as this program exists and uh, it's going, this is my 12th year, and uh, I call in, everyone wants to know how it works. I sign up for a certain location and certain time frame, and, uh, and they send me a permit that's authorized by the MTA, and I show up in these locations, and, and the police know about it, and it's a whole thing that's going on. That, that card episode. makes it all yeah. possible. Yeah. After the subways, we got you for CWC. We have Glenn Roth as actually our... Uh, featured artist on uh, well, all our little PSAs, all the CWC for this year, and maybe you'll be a life, you'll have a lifetime I I card I, with us. Uh, I, hope, so. I hope. Tell me about the mountain theme story. Mm. That's a that's gonna. That's a good question. We're gonna hear the mountains uh, theme. Um, it's a special song for me. I love to play guitar, but another one of my passions in life is snowboarding. Love to snowboard been doing it for over 20 years and it uh, doesn't mix well with guitar playing you got to protect the hands so I have special gloves I wear and you know keep your fingers crossed but um been going every year for for many years so I like to film myself and make little snowboard films of, of of the day and a few years back I was scoring one of the films that I made and I started playing the mountain theme and ended calling it that and uh, put the music to one of my snowboarding films and so it's kind of like a piece of, uh, you know, my uh, personality, if you'd say, you know, that snowboarding is a big part of what I love to do. The filming also goes on in the subway, too, yes. right? Yeah. You've, you're kind of a, a multimedia, um, <laughs> you're not just, or just a guitarist, <laughs> yeah. you're, you're a performer that also packages in a video mm. um, a, a unique thing. I mean, the, the fingerstyle playing is mm. strong enough on its own, but yeah. this other package, how did that come about? Um, for years, uh, friends were telling me to document, oh, you, you know, I have a lot of things that happen down in the subway system and in the train stations that I play at. And my friends were like, oh, you should document that and keep a diary. And in more recent years, I've gotten into YouTube.com a lot, and there's what they call YouTubers, or all these people making a living filming their lives on the Internet. Some of you viewers know about this, and... Uh, so I was inspired by some of these YouTubers, uh, Fun for Louie, Shea Carl, Philip DeFranco. I can go on and on and name all these people. I started my own web series called Busker TV, and it, it follows me down in the subways, and I try to film as much as I can and different musicians and different experiences that happen down there. So. Well, the Spinal Tap among musicians, yeah. We've, yeah. who's ever played out uh, has a story or two to share. and. Sometimes video is the only way people would believe you. Yeah, yeah. So I've captured, uh, I have 29 episodes and counting, and and I've been looking back on them, and it's real interesting to see, oh, that was that day that this happened or whatnot, and, uh, or I saw this band play. and So it's just been a way for me to document it, and I hope the, hope all the fans and viewers like, like to watch them. So I think it adds value in yeah, general. The music, um, the music you could get lost in, 
but mm. adding uh, your own visual component that might have been the inspiration for it, mm -hmm. as in the mountain, uh, mountain the mountain theme. theme. Um, back to that, I remember there was another story I heard that evening uh, when you opened up for Carl mm. Verhey, and that your parents went on vacation and you were mm. unhappy that you had to go. Yes. You wanted to hang. Yeah, it was where I wrote one of my first songs. It's a song off my new album, and it's a song called Salbach 92. And that tells the story. My parents brought me to a place called Salbach, Austria. Beautiful place. I hope to return. And uh, my friend's parents were going away, and I wanted to stay home and go to the party all week. And instead, my parents were like, no, you're going to go to this beautiful Aus Austrian Alps with us. And uh, Culture, darn it. And I learned how to ski there. I haven't skied since. I skied for seven days in the Austrian Alps, and I've been snowboarding ever since. And uh, it was just a special experience. So I said, I have to bring my guitar on this trip. So my parents let me bring the guitar. And uh, I remember it getting it searched in the Munich airport. And, uh, you know, it was a pretty cool experience. And that song's pretty special to me, just that, that experience. Well, I'm glad you took the guitar along as yeah, well. Yeah. You made that compromise. Your parents, exactly. uh, I think, could see uh, a budding talent. How yeah. old were you at the time, may I ask? I was 15 when that trip happened. How long have you been playing? Um, since I was seven. Yeah. Well, that, that helps to explain why uh, you're an inspiration uh, for many guitarists, I think. Thank Some you. guitarists would uh, literally not pick up the guitar anymore. You know the type to yeah. hear. You're playing, is, is, you're kind of like a humbler, like uh, I Mr. Gatton. That. And I, seriously, uh, I pardon uh, any gushing here, but, you, well, you've heard it yourself. The, the opening theme is what, uh, what you played mm -hmm. uh, uh, last week. And it established you as uh, everyone Everyone uh, in the band and uh, in the club that night said, yeah, nice. this guy's probably should uh, be on tour with him. Yeah. And that was only a crossing a pass one night. Yeah, but I, uh, I wrote Carl an email and he wrote right back to me. And, you know, I'm sure he gets a lot of guitar players, you know, crossing paths with him. And, uh, yeah, so maybe we'll connect one day again down, down the line somewhere. I see it as a fantastic pairing. I hope so. Yeah, it was a special night, and uh, and I hope to get my music out to the world. That's my overall goal: is to go worldwide, and just to keep writing great music. And that's what I want well, to do. We're gonna we're gonna keep playing it out for you and right. getting it uh, getting it promoted. Back to the inspiration. Mm. Uh, at seven years old, mm. what what inspires a kid to pick up a guitar? They're big and bulky. For me, it was Eddie Van Halen. I remember, I remember seeing him on a news story, have this vision of him and the tapping, and then my older brother actually was taking lessons, and then I kind of jumped in on it. Interesting that mm -hmm. there is some tapping in your work, and mm -hmm. that it's a it's just a tangential reference to yeah. what Van Halen may do, but it it was an influence to some degree. Yeah, maybe? definitely Eddie. I was into Kiss, and Metallica was a huge influence. Kirk Kirk Hammett and uh, Joe Satriani, those types of people, Steve Vai, those were my inspirations growing up. And uh, now it's changed, you know, those are still special people in my heart. But um, I'm into some uh, variety of music, you know, these days that people wouldn't expect, you know, a lot of instrumental, but also a lot of like, you know, hip hop and heavy metal type music I like, so. To be incorporated at all in the feel um, or just Maybe one day I would incorporate it, you know, but I also have a vision of, you know, maybe starting a band one day where I experiment with some other types of music, you know. Great. Experiments with other types of music. Well, for a guy who goes pretty far out to bring, like what we just heard, music from another dimension, can you yeah. give me the title again? Was um, it? <laughs> Shuttle to the End of the Universe. Oh, Oh, oh and, so we, and, and another dimension. Uh, there were, I, I thought there was uh, extra dimensional travel involved. <laughs> well, you've got to go pretty far to bring that stuff back. And when you, on your next travels, uh, think of us, stop back again. I will. I'm Thank really you so much, Tom. to hearing more. Thank Great. You, Thanks. Thanks for having me on.
Thank you.